500 Days of Summer follows the relationship between Summer Finn, an emotionally unavailable enigma, and Tom Hansen, a hopelessly romantic man who falls hard and gets hurt. Now, Freddie, there were moments in this film where I really started to think that Summer was just plain evil. Today, I want to establish just how malevolent Summer really was and explore how far it could have gone. In other words, what if Summer was a psychopath? So, today we are going to explore this question in two parts. First, we need to determine exactly how detrimental Summer's actions were and if they constituted psychopathy. If we decide that she was in fact not a psychopath, then part two will ask how the story would have changed if she was. We have 10 minutes to hash it out. I feel like you have a comment to make before we get going. Look, I just found it funny how <laughs> our two thumbnails are gonna be, one is gonna be, what if someone was a psychopath? And the other is gonna be, what if Hamster was a serial killer? <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go. Right. right. This quick disclaimer. Since we're discussing her behaviors, we need to acknowledge that we see in this film that we are watching this through Tom's warped perspective. Mm -hmm. We okay. have evidence of that. So we know that we can't truly trust our, our film, but that's all we've got to go on. So that's what we're going to use. So the first part, unmasking Summer, psychopath or misunderstood. Now, when we spot potentially evil behavior, it's crucial to consider that there are three common psychological profiles it might hint at. Bit of a Narcissism. lesson for one here. Oh, absolutely. Narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy, collectively known as the Dark Triad. Ooh. What a name that is. Ah, so unreal. To really get under the skin of Summer's character, I've lined up a set of criteria for these profiles that might indicate a diagnosis, and me and you are just going to figure out if she fits any of them. Yeah, okay. I haven't, I haven't actually held You've her up against this criteria. yet. I've got, I've got us ready okay. for a, just a freeform chat. Let's see so. what we can find. Let's start with the first one. We've got narcissism. So there are three criteria. You've got self-obsession, entitlement, and manipulation. So I don't think that she's self-obsessed. I think that that's one we can pretty much instantly rule out. Wow. When would she show signs of self-obsession? I don't think there's anything too clear cut, is there? I don't Other think than, so. The only thing you could say is that she, she goes to the beat of her own drum, which is yeah. mentioned a few times. But I don't think narcissist level, like dark triad level stuff. Maybe a little unhealthy at times. Yeah, but. not not cl nothing clear. I don't think she's a narcissist. I think we could, we could cross. Do out. they have to have all three? I think I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty confident. Right. <laughs> anyway, Machiavellianism. <laughs> so you just went first one tick off. No tick way. off. It, she's not. Well, I think it's fair to say she's not a narcissist. Um, Machiavellianism. Okay. Manipulation. I'm actually going to read the little description. So manipulation is she skilled in influencing and deceiving others for personal gain? Cynicism views others primarily as tools to be exploited and strategic thinking plans meticulously to achieve control or power over situations and people. You know what? Yeah. All right, let's think about a couple of these scenarios here. So manipulation, at worst, you mentioned it before, she is uh, it's pure ignorance. Yeah, yeah, it's negligence. Situation. Negligence, it, that's it, The it. best case scenario for best her case. is negligence. But realistically... She does string this fella along. Now, the only the, the thing that does massively work in her favor is the fact that she is up front with him about him at the start. Yes. Oh and no, we, she is she is up front with him, but her her words are up front with him throughout the movie. Mm, but but her eyes. Um, a true Machiavellian type would know that their behaviors being the opposite would actually work even more in favor of making him fall for her. Mm, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like um, when when he thinks that her walls are get, coming down, yeah, and mm. then and sort of going and then just randomly going like, oh no, I still can't do this or whatever. That kind of torment, I think a true Machiavellian type might intentionally use that for sure. I think definitively the most fucked up thing that she she does in the whole film is the invite to the party engagement oh, that that seems that. very now but then she follows it up with, with with a close second which is the the thing that i looked at a very positive light which was the come to see him at the bench and give him closure but really that could have been a failed attempt toying with it, yeah it, I'm stalking to see how you're getting on. Yeah. And now I'm going to make sure you never... Oh, maybe she's maybe she's actually been following him for, for weeks. And she knows she, that he's, oh, he's getting doing a bit better. better. Had he already talked to that but, girl? No, no, no. Autumn. He talked to the girl after. Oh, she, okay, 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 okay. That was the last scene. Maybe she was testing him. But maybe with, she left like... <laughs> I feel like we're going a bit far. <laughs> I don't think she's... <laughs> maybe she wore some makeup. makeup. <laughs> I don't think she... Yeah, my name's Autumn. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's a, maybe there 
quadruplets. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they died in the maybe, season. Maybe, Fred. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Okay, and they've all got a different of the dark triad. She's definitely cyn- cynical. We know sure. that. She that is laid out clearly at the start. I think she, that she, we spoke about before the example where he goes, "Why did you dance with me then?" And she's like, "Oh, I just fancied it." Yeah, that's a, that cynicism. So I had a thought on the whole manipulation thing as well, mm. which is, um, if she's going to use him, there's no material benefits to her. So the only sort of toying with him which i you know have a suspicion she might be doing mm-hmm. the only reason she would be doing that is just for the sake of the game because there's no other benefits to her so that's worth sort of making sure we've considered when we're thinking about is that that's the only motivation that would make sense do we think that that is her motivation i want to say that my understanding of psychopathy sociopathy machiavellianism narcissism stems a lot from the dennis system and it's always sunny in philadelphia Okay. She may not know of, but I don't effectively, know. it's a Dennis is a character who demonstrates a few of these traits, and okay. he has a sister. His name is Dennis. Yeah, and he has a system called Dennis, which is an acronym for a, a six-step plan to basically make any woman fall in love with him. Okay. I don't remember all of them, but it's like demonstrate value. I think is the first, <laughs> and then it's engage physically neglect or n- nurture dependence neglect emotionally i'm surprised at how many i might <laughs> might be remembering it. inspire confidence i think is is one so basically he he shows that he's he's uh he, he shows that they need him he shows yeah, okay. used to them yeah, yeah, first yeah. and foremost yeah. then he manages to have sex with them and then he nurtures some dependence <laughs> and then he completely cuts them off out of nowhere and just completely fucks with their head. And then he comes back in, inspires hope by saying, no, you're the one for me. I just had to, I had to get my head straight. And then he separates, separate entirely. So then the yeah. last one is never see them again. But if you need them, they're there. And they, they think about you. She is as close a, to that. I don't know if that system is studied in psychological circles, but <laughs> I, I know this, that's exactly what she did. That is exactly <laughs> she what she did. did. Step by step. <laughs> she she really completely did. dentist him. Okay, so she could be a Machiavellian. Here's why I'm going to say she's not, is because I don't think that she is meticulously planning. I think she is negligent rather than mal- mm. malevolent. I think that she is doing it because she's just kind of doesn't care. She's a bit immature emotionally, and she just doesn't. I don't think she's planning meticulously yeah you know when we get into psychopathy here so i this is wow this is not a good case for lack of empathy so you said there she's immature emotionally and you could argue it's not that she's immature but she's just different right yeah yeah yeah. her emotions are she sees things as completely different to other people she could even have a lack of (laughs) <laughs> she, could, <laughs> she could have an absence of guilt <laughs> and then impulsivity absolutely ding, ding, she, ding. Well, she got married like <laughs> uh, like bang like that she was like yeah i just met this guy and fell in love with yeah. him sorry about every single time i told you the opposite and boldness boldness that kiss that kiss in the by the photocopier that's about as bold as it gets okay could demonstrate a lot of strategic thinking as well here's the problem right fred is I built part two on the assumption that we would determine she's not a psychopath. And then we play around with the idea that she is. <laughs> she 100% <laughs> it, is a she's psychopath. She's definitely a psychopath. 100%. <laughs> she is a complete and utter psychopath, this woman. If all she needs are these three things, then she is 100% these three things. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying she she's is. a psychopath, but based on what you've shown me here, yeah. she is a psychopath. If if the criteria for psychopathy are a lack of empathy, impulsivity, and boldness, she has demonstrated quite strongly she is in favor of those three things. She does those three things. Mm. What other ones are there? There's definitely like moving from relationships, which she, she oh listed God, her that's... boyfriends. <laughs> At the start, when it says all the things that happened to her, like all oh, things that all went her way. That was a bit sinister, wasn't it? Like, yeah. So she always gets 12% below the average price. 
when she, she buys new oh, flats. You no, oh. She she had that one year where she worked on some was it some ice cream stand or something. I can't and they were like they never that. understood why they had a twenty seven percent increase yes. in profits that year. That was a bit wild. That yeah, that seemed that seemed more than just being pretty. She, it seems like she's yeah, mani- manipulating the, the markets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where did anyone check on their competition that week? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she was just putting in the numbers wrong? <laughs> That's <laughs> she's not a psychopath. She's just an idiot. We never understood how we got. To 2000 percent more revenue there and we didn't even see any of it <laughs> yeah okay well i reckon this is this is quite this is quite damning evidence damning i would say okay part two what if she was a psychopath <laughs> Freddie? <laughs> let's right. let's let's play ball here and let's say that she is a psychopath okay what decisions did she make in the film and how would they have been done differently? So let's just take it up a notch. Let's say that there are different degrees of psychopathy, and mm-hmm. this girl now is... She's not killing anyone. Is she's she? not. No. she. At the minute, you know, a lot of people watch the film, and some people even don't think she's bad. You know, most people I don't think... I didn't until this conversation. Most, <laughs> most people will maybe think she's not great, but they won't go to psychopathy. So she's not doing anything too bad. Wait, what would she have to do to get to that point? I just had a thought though that okay, so so hear me out on this because we did speak about it. My whole idea, my what if was kind of predicated around actually she was a net positive on his life. Mm-hmm. Could she be a good psychopath? Oh, <gasps> I- genuinely look at him. Look, if you only take the two Tom Hansons, not no hamster involved, just the just, Tom just, Hansons, just the Hansons, the, at the start of the film, he's a hopeless romantic yeah. who doesn't go and go after it with women because he immature. puts them on pedestals. Yeah. Immature, really scared of himself, scared of his potential. Yeah. And he's a bit of a mopey, whiny weasel. In a job he hates. In a job he hates because he can't actually, he, he doesn't have the guts or gumption to go out and do what he loves. An idea is a dreamer. By the end of it, he's a go-getter. He's an yeah. architect. He's got his, his girlfriend who he, he, he actually went out and got her, unlike... With wow. Summer, did Summer just come in for a kind use of use her schemes? Yeah, this would be strategic. Just planning. for like a project, just, just like, be like, you know what, this guy's he's got a lot of potential. He's kind and of the pretty. only way we can get it. He's quite handsome. He's well, he's handsome. He's, he's clearly smart. He's handsome, handsome. He's handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he's handsome. Around the office, we called him handsome, <laughs> handsome. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I know that I could, this is a project of mine. I'm going to work it. God, maybe she is. If that's the case, though, well, it, the plot thickens. The guy she's marrying, is she using him to improve Hanson, <laughs> Hanson's <laughs> life? <laughs> she is just absolutely dedicated to changing, to changing this man. Hanson, Hanson. To, to make him Hanson, Hanson, Hanson. <laughs> Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe Freddy you might be on some maybe you do, maybe you do another video <laughs> on it I just Dude, think it's no, clear I like it it's fun I mean it was different to what I had pictured for a truly psychopathic uh, summer but there you go I tell you what if you're listening along now let us know in the comments what you think you've heard you the think? evidence is she a psychopath or is she not is she a bad psychopath a, a good psychopath is We're pretty she, sure she is a psychopath. We think, yeah. Based on the Any psychologists out there, mm. what have we missed? Yeah. yeah. How about that? What have we missed? If you think she's not a psychopath, what have we missed? This week we have more questions coming from the <laughs> Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. i a- in your conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, so we've concluded that Summer was not, in fact, a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, I made a point of not... I was like, I want this to be a discussion, so I'm not going to try and figure it out. we did. Well, listen, we've got uh, more questions like this coming from The Silence of the Lambs, another one from 500 Days of Summer, and Life is Beautiful. So if you enjoyed this, please feel free to check them out, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dave, thanks so much for listening. Cheers, Dave. <laughs>